The Other Slim Show. Let's go. Ofeke Ndume Industrial Market. Uh, okay. If you look around, you could see tanks, mm -hmm. pipes, rods. Wow, yeah. See generating self there. Okay. All kinds of building materials. Okay. So the gen serves the entire market. You mean the gen? The gen no, serves. I think it's a private Le one for okay. the person who owns that place. Okay. Now the good thing about it is that it is a, a one hundred percent initiative of the governor of Abia State called uh, Ochendo. Ochendo. Wow. Right. From the scratch. Yes. Now wow. he realized that the town, as was built by the colonial masters, mm. remained in that state for so many years. Mm -hmm. So he started removing mm. the clogging aspects. Mm. As you know, markets make it very, very impossible mm. for people to mm. move, you know, vehicular movement. Yeah. So he decided to remove all the markets from the main city. Mm. Now the industrial market that was staying at uh, Afara, Hukoba uh, Afara was brought down to this place. Okay. If you look at it, you see that this is a new place. The colors mm. of the houses, with, with the access the road, the, houses, the, the access road is wide enough, mm -hmm. you know, to to serve as a double way carriage in mm. any city. This this is what uh, the place they call the upstairs line, mm. and okay. you can see the level of mm. equipments and all that that they have. Yeah, you can see for yourself. Yeah, left That's and right, and this mm. market stretches all over it to the other place. I think it has a one mile radius. Wow. One mile on all sides. That's, that's amazing. So, and uh, as uh, Mr. Labramaku expressed when he came, mm. he said that the most exciting thing about this place is that it offers a lot of opportunities to artisans. Exactly, yeah. Because these roads you see here are being bent and wrought yeah. by youths. Of Old course. men do not work on rods. It's true. Use you need a lot of energy, energy to work on so rods. As they do that, yeah. they are working. Yeah. Those of them who are not skilled find something to do what because to do. they load these things into exactly, vehicles. Yeah. And those of them can migrate from loading to one skill or the other. Or the other so yeah. that's the good thing about the market. And that encourages the builders. The, having the build this kind of market, market the builders others, build more employment. The youths have something more to do employment, and yeah. all that. And women, too, exactly. have a lot to do because... There are a lot of food vendors in this place. Mm -hmm. If you come here in the morning, you see all kinds of Even at the construction food. sites, too, sites women too, supply you know, food. drifting from here. At times, they mm -hmm. come here, too. They have a labor market here. Okay. If you're building, you come here and take laborers to the place. Exactly. So, yes. At least putting everyone in a central place. Place, everyone in a central place. Every, all hands working mm -hmm. in a more serene atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Plumbers, carpenters. carpenters. All artisans, artisans, all of them. Artisans. That's that's great. Wow. Yes. So the the people just buy or rent or both. I mean, uh, for the shops, people have to buy each other's uh, shops. Yes. Or? When they moved, uh, they were given conditions. Hmm. A lot of people bought. Okay. Yes, they were because they, some people were skeptic. They say it was uh, employed by the government to deprive them of their shops and all those. Yeah. Things. But the governor had sessions. Mm -hmm with uh, the leadership of the traders and mm -hmm. they were keeping a very conducive uh, condition, yeah. conducive environment and all that and they, all these shops are owned by the traders themselves wow that's and cool. you know the people will always find ways or the other to beat the system mm -hmm. now after they came over to this place they noticed that there were some shops that were not occupied they were mm. locked up and the government said if any shop is locked for more than six months mm -hmm. we break into the place and allocate it to somebody. Yeah, because wow. it needs to be busy. Busy, yes. Yeah. So may, don't you think maybe some of the people were not able to raise money to, to put up some goods? Some of them were given conditions that will help them. Mm. The banks came in to do some mortgage for them. Okay. As a matter of fact, that's why uh, you have the bank the there. Diamond bank there, right inside the place. And other banks have been encouraged to come in, build and help the people. Okay, so they help them with mortgages. Yes, I need okay. some mortgage too. <laughs> thank you so much right, for being right. my tour guide today. Yeah. Doris, thank you so much to, uh, for bringing me to your wonderful state in Abia <laughs> State. It's a lovely state and I never knew you guys are so huge. Never knew so much is going on. Thank today, you so much. Seeing is believing. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, so you're not just an actress, you're also... <laughs> 
a tour guide, <laughs> an explorer, a marketer, wow. and a marketer, <laughs> an explorer. Yes. Or maybe right now I'm the explorer. You know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I just explored Omar here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we are in it together. Yeah, yeah. we are in it yeah. together. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful time in Omar here. And Ochendo, that's a man, and I call him the brand new governor. <laughs> <laughs> he likes everything brand new, so that's the man of the moment, that's the man of the time. And I need to check out what's going on here in the market. And Doris, okay. bye! <laughs> wow! Anyway, thank you for watching. It's been a wonderful show. And uh, my apologies to Tubabanda and Libraba. Sorry, we ran out of time, but I will see you guys in 2025. But right now, I'm in Omaha, in Abia State. Let's go. The Adaslim Show. Let's go.